So, Michelin Pilot Sport 4, 25,000 mile Mark 7 Golf R review, essentially. So yeah, five years as well that I've had these tires on the car. I had them fitted in 2019, and today's the last day that they'll be on the car because I am getting them changed. And um, yeah, I am yeah fancied a new change, but also felt like this was a good opportunity to kind of explain to you how I've found the, uh, the Pilot Sport 4, my kind of recommendations on it, just from like a real owner, basically. So let's get straight into this. So yeah, I'm just on the road, just cruising, just filled up the car for some fuel. And yeah, this is a good opportunity to talk to you about the car, how I found it, found it, how well it's lasted. Well, first of all, I have to say, I've really, really enjoyed them. That if you want to just end the video quickly and just be like, if you want to get a solid, safe tire, get a, get the Michelin Pilot Sport 4. You know, I, I don't think you can really go wrong there. You know, Michelin are a very good, reputable brand. They offer a hell of a lot. And even though the tires cost a little bit more than normal, um, the life that you get out of them is strong. You do get the mileage. I mean, my fronts on this, bear in mind this is a 300 brake horsepower car, probably got about three and a half mil left. The rears have a little bit more, although I have uneven wear on the, um, essentially on the inner edge of both rear tires, um, which I'm hoping to get sorted by, um, so I, I love these roads, sorted by um, a four wheel alignment, which will happen later today as well. And yeah, fingers crossed that that solves it. I hope it's nothing else, because um, I have had a four wheel alignment before. Um, shows how kind of important those things are. One thing that is a bit of a mis common misconception is just because you put the name sport in a tyre doesn't mean it's particularly sporty. Don't get me wrong, this is more sportier than I suppose your budget tyre. Um, you know, this is a premium tyre at the end of the day. But I wouldn't say it's as premium, uh, it's as sporty as the OEM kind of tyre that came with um, the Golf the Mark 7 Golf R anyway, which was the Bridgestone Potenzas, that certainly had a bit more of a sporty element to it, but it definitely didn't wear as well. These have lasted me far longer. In terms of comfort, it's all been good. Um, one thing I've been kind of disappointed with, it hasn't felt sporty enough for me, and that's kind of why I'm changing it up a bit um, to another 18 inch wheel, which I will kind of share with you guys. Um, I'm super excited when it gets um, installed. You know, I hope it refreshes the car. Obviously, having new tyres has so many benefits. You get extra tread life, so, well, tread depth, so the cars can have more grip. Um, it's a newer tyre, it only came out in the last year or two, this one. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to kind of sharing it with you and just kind of explaining what that tire is going to be like as well over the over the future foreseeable future of this car so that's going to be exciting but yeah you know, the pilot sport 4 you, you can't really go wrong and they still produce them today even though the pilot sport 5 is out now um for various reasons just because it's a very good solid tire to kind of have can't really go wrong but yeah a little bit more vagueness in the steering and i'm a big advocate for a channel called Tire Reviews. Um, there's someone on there who just, he knows everything about tires. And if you wanna know about tires, follow that basically. That's how I kind of judged my next tire related move to, um, which I'm not sure if I'll show in this video or if I'll show in a separate video. I'll have a little think. But this is very much like how these tires have been. Now, if you want to get for a more performance tyre, you've got to go for like the Pilot Sport, say 4S, or even if in the Cup 2, if you're really well inclined for more of a sportier kind of element and sportier drive. These roads are just shocking. Um, and that scares me as well with new tyres, because you obviously risk them just getting all ripped to shreds, but you have to make the move at some point, so I've decided to. Um, yeah, so no, no real complaints. Um, they've obviously lasted me a long time, and they've been pretty solid they don't have much sidewall protection i'm pretty good on not curbing wheels but you know you, you are more likely to curb it than say a reinforced um sort of padding if that makes sense road noise has been pretty good yeah i there, there's i have no real complaints but i don't really have any sort of standout features for it if i'm completely honest with you they are quite expensive to buy there's a lot of tires out there there's a lot of competition from a lot of premium manufacturers such as Continental, such as Goodyear, such as Bridgestone, for example, um, to name a few. So shop around, definitely, to get like your best price and all those kind of things. Now, in the UK, we sort of have, like, 
I think these kind of tyres work well. I don't think we're ever in a situation where you really need full winter tyres. I don't think we're in a situation where you really need, um, you know, full cup twos, if I'm honest, unless you take it on track, full summer tyres. And I don't think you need that all seasons tyre either. Because, you know, even today, it's February 2024, I'm seeing eight and a half degrees. Normally tyres below sort of five degrees is when you're gonna probably need winter tyres, and even then it's few and far between, it depends how you drive, etc, etc. And if you can get the tyres warm enough, so if you go on a long enough drive, your tyres will probably be warm enough anyway. So that's just my UK perspective. Rather than changing them in and out, I've just kept with sort of like a summer tyre, but not like a super, super ultra high performance tyre, just like a performance tyre. And I'm hoping with these next set, I'm gonna have a little bit more subjective feel on the steering, a little bit more fun as well, which, and that's unique to me and the type of car that I have. And one thing about tyre reviews, they often test, even now on Mark 7 Golfs, normally it's the GTI, and yeah, I obviously have a Golf R, it's a similar kind of platform other than the fact that it's four wheel drive. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a good back to back on, on, on what it's like. But yeah, one thing definitely, don't get taken in by the name. If you see something really fancy, it doesn't necessarily mean anything. And when a tire is made, you have to have compromise in some areas. You can't have full sportiness. You can't have full comfort. You can't have, you know, you have to kind of give here and there if you kind of want it to get that all amazing balance, basically. So you just can't have it all in life, <laughs> sadly. That's, um, that's just the case. I certainly can recommend it if, if you want it. You can't really go wrong. Key for me is the tires are the most important thing you can have on any car, whatever car you got. If you had a Ferrari, I saw a Ferrari for a Sangway, um, just driving around. If it's got rubbish tires on, you just, it's useless. You're better off in a 10 year old car with premium tires on it. You know, it's, it's so, so critical. It's the only contact your car has with the ground. It is critical and I appreciate costs can kind of come into it as well and I've often found if you get them in bulk I'm getting four new tires for example you can get a better deal and that's kind of what I would recommend um, yeah so that, that's that's all been important the one thing is tire age as well that's quite important like for me I know my tires are five years old and funny enough once they get over that kind of age you just the tire the, the grades and everything like that so it's worth replacing now these have held up really really well i have to say but it's been through so many different heat cycles and all sorts from just the driving that i do over the 25,000 miles over the five years that it's well worth sort of switching it up um would i replace them like for like no i, I just want something different I've, I've had it for five years i want to mix something up completely um am i going for the pilot sport fives no because Although I considered it, they are actually really quite expensive. And I'm not a biggest fan of sort of like aesthetics. And I, I feel like they've got like a really nice fancy sidewall and stuff like that. And you know, if that's your kind of thing, yeah, I'm just more for what the actual tire actually offers and the quality of it. That's why I have a Mark 7 Golf, because for me, it's just all you ever need. That's kind of my kind of perspective on that. What have I gone for? Well, in fact, I think I probably will tell you because I think I'll let you into a surprise, but a little bit of a, a summary on the Pilot Sport 4. Yes, I can recommend. Yes, they've lasted me really well. If you have any questions on it, this is a community channel. Let me know in the comments and I will help you out 100%. The one thing that I did notice is in today, in February 2024, if you want to get Pilot Sport 4, because they've been superseded by the Pilot Sport 5, you do have to pay a bit more somehow. So that doesn't make sense. So let's um, let me move on a little bit further when I've actually had these tires fitted to be fair and because that's going to be in a couple of hours I'm going to get the four wheel alignment as well and yeah I'm looking forward to seeing how these ones perform over the years but yeah so long to the Pilot Sport 4 um, it's been a great tire but time to kind of move on you, can, you know nothing lasts forever